My name is Janet Baird. I grew up in Arnhem Land before moving to Darwin when I was seven years old. I have six brothers ranging from four to 18 and they're a big reason why I started playing football. Jess Dalpos from the GWS Giants is coming up to Darwin and I'm gonna show her around. Hey! Welcome. welcome to Darwin. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> so, we are at your beautiful, green, lovely home ground. Yes. Tell me about it. This is the Palmerston Magpies and I've been playing and training on this field for about five or six years now and been coming down for the last maybe like ten years since my brothers have started playing. Did you run water or anything? Were you still involved in the club? Oh, uh, not really. Like, I cheered. <laughs> I wasn't really into footy back then. What changed? How did that happen? Um, when I was about 13, 14, I had something happen to me. Um, my little brother passed away. He was eight years old and um, a really big part of my life, a really big part of all my brother's lives. So after that happened, um, we all just um, disconnected. Um, we were doing our own thing and we we'll, were really, um, I guess, depressed and lost. I woke up to myself and I wanted to distract myself because um, what I was doing wasn't healthy. It made me want to start playing so I can get closer to my other brothers. My football club and my football team are my community and they're the biggest influence on my life. And do you have some really good mates at this footy club? Yeah, well, I met one of my best friends playing footy for this club, Tabitha. We've played at club level together, we've played Thunder level together, and we've played representative footy together. Being away for a week on these footy trips can be a bit daunting, and I was really happy that Tabitha was there with me, it reminded me of home. Oh, and that was our first year of um, footy together. Remember yeah, that? I remember you made me cry. Oh. <laughs> This is my school. So what are you studying here? I'm studying health, PE and society and culture. Society and culture because like it's really good to have like that cultural awareness up here especially since we're such a multicultural city. I'm doing it all so I can maybe pursue physiotherapy in a couple of years in uni. My mum studied for a couple of years and got her early childhood teaching degree. She studied while she had six kids, oh, seven kids actually, and like all odds against her she completed and now she works in Arnhem where she grew up, giving back and stuff like that and I think that's really cool. I'm actually the 2017 ambassador for PGA which is Palmerston Girls Academy and look after girls and um, make sure that they're not wagging. Do you feel comfortable in that, with that title of role model and sort of that inspiration for girls following in your footsteps? Uh, it's a bit nerve wracking, but I try my hardest to do things right, like um, getting into these representative sides and doing my work at school and wanting to pursue like uni and stuff like that. I want to set a good example for those girls that are watching me. Yes, this is Jason. Hey, Jess. Hello. Rodney. Hi, Jess. Hi, And Clarence. Hi. I know a bit of Janet's story and your story, and it started with family tragedy, I guess, and it started her playing career. How does that pan out from, from your side of the family? Um, I guess it's empty space in our, in our hearts, but, um, you know, we, we look at it as, as something that we can maybe make him proud of us. The club really took us in and uh, looked after us, knowing myself and my brothers and sisters, we were, we were heartbroken and we, we didn't really want to be around anyone. Yeah. And have you guys noticed in Janet a shift now that she started playing footy? <laughs> when Janet first played, she just impacted the whole game. Like, when, on her first game, like people didn't really know Janet, and then, then, then she just 
Boom. Everyone knows, like, a year later, <laughs> everyone knows Janet. So you're already famous. <laughs> she just makes players around her um, better. better. Yeah. How does your best league best and fairest speech go? My league best and fairest? Mm. I'd like to thank my brothers. <laughs> Even though being a female leader is breaking barriers, I'd like to think it's no different to being a male leader. It's the example you set.